and I drove all the way over here to come with all the people from Detroit and uh, Ohio and uh, many other places in the, in the country. And, uh, and we all came together in a common interest to fight for jobs. And uh, we wanted to fight for jobs and make that demand of jobs or income now right in front of the faces of the people who are right now uh, figuring out our future uh, without us in the picture. The real good thing about the protests going on in Pittsburgh um, this week with the G20 is the emphasis on um, uniting workers around the world against these giant financial institutions and uh, the global corporations and their um, uh, victimization, basically, of working people around the world, um, forcing workers to compete with each other for the lowest wages, uh, for the lowest uh, working conditions and those kinds of things. And I think our country and our union is moving in the direction of challenging those things and basically saying, you know, we're from the working class and the working class creates uh, the goods and services that the country needs and creates the wealth of this country and we deserve our share of it. I got married and it was wonderful. Uh, within a year my husband lost his job at a week a, a, a lint tube in Sharon, Pennsylvania. But due to his skills in maintenance, he was able to go directly to his second job in a, 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 a steel mill, Gibraltar. Within six months, it closed. But by the, the, the grace of God, he got into the DeFerco steel, which is causing a problem now because they've received the death slab steel from Russia. So with the stimulus package, we are having to make some adjustments to be able to sell the, the, the Dower product. In between time, when my daughter developed a, a lymphoma, which she had the base insurance. But unfortunately, the hospital she was going to rejected her because her policy would only cover 250000 and they refused to start her chemo. Uh, we work a lot to ensure that workers aren't exploited, and uh, we do see a lot of that with globalization in a lot of developing countries where workers aren't paid fair wages, uh, any benefits, and uh, that's something that we want to make sure is at the forefront. Uh, of this step, of this debate, of this co uh, conference, and uh, you know that's just where we are today. And uh, it's a good, 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 good showing here today. Lots of people. In terms of globalization, we've got a system right here in Pittsburgh where we need better jobs. We need a standard for employment for people that provides a good wage, comprehensive health care benefits, and safety safety on the job. G20 represents the movement internationally to maximize profits for corporations. Uh, on the local level, there are subsidiaries not directly related to the G20, but there are business interests here who do the same thing. And what they try to do is make sure that government works for them to help them maximize profits. Um, and that's pretty much what has happened. Here in Pittsburgh, in the Hill District section of Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Penguins threatened to leave town, and they forced the politicians to give them huge subsidies in order to keep them here in Pittsburgh. Subsidy is to the tune of three quarters of a billion dollars. It's like the stimulus packages that they're talking about now. They're giving huge amounts of money to these big corporations so they can continue to maximize their profits. And they really don't care about people in the communities. In the Hill District, we came together to try to fight back against that, and we formed the One Hill Coalition, and we fought to try to make sure that some benefit came back to the community when we gave all this tax money or this corporate welfare to the Pittsburgh Penguins. This Penguins example is just one example. We do it all over where we give huge amounts of money to private corporations and we don't require them to give back. It's important that we require them to give back as we move forward uh, in our communities. And I represent the Pennsylvania Fair Trade Coalition. Um, we are a state nonprofit coalition that fights for fair trade policies here in Pennsylvania. We're affiliated with the Citizens Trade Campaign, who's at the national level, and we have about 10 other states who, um, Maine and Ohio and California and Texas, who fight for the same thing in their state. The town I come from is about 15 miles down the river from here, Aliquippa, and it is the one of the early poster childs for deindustrialization brought on by globalization. 
uh, steel mills were uh, sold out, shut down. Some of them were sh uh, just gutted, and uh, the money went into speculation in oil futures. Others uh, went off to Brazil because in Brazil they make steel without any environmental protection, which gave them an advantage to make steel cheaper. And it basically destroyed uh, 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 tens of thousands of jobs in that uh, community alone. So. Uh, when you talk about globalization and the G20 and uh, the idea that we can deregulate and do away with regulations, we know what that means uh, very painfully and uh, why it's uh, absolutely correct for people to get out here and uh, try to deliver a strong message uh, to the G20 that uh, we're not going to put up with this anymore. They're the finance ministers and bankers and government leaders who are going to decide uh, what to do about this economic crisis. And and what they've done in the past is bail themselves out with our tax dollars. Um, and they've done nothing but harm in terms of foreclosures, in terms of the rate of unemployment, which in California is fourth largest in the, in the nation. Um, so we had to come here and make our voices heard because uh, they will ignore us if we're invisible. So we, we're here to say that we're not going to be invisible. And we're going to continue on Dr. Dr. King's uh, Poor People's Campaign. Uh, which said that um, income is one of the most important things, jobs and income are the most important things for survival, for, for working and poor people.